Hello everyone, it's uh, Paul here from ScheduleFlow and we're just going to kick off a little webinar on the three different sorts of uh, messaging we have in ScheduleFlow. So we have an instant message which can go out to a customer, a technician or a staff member. We have reminder messages and we have uh, triggered messages which can go out when a job changes into a particular status. Uh, we also have messages which go out when a recurring series ends and a job goes into the last data. So when you've completed a series, you can also get a triggered message. So say you've got a, um, a, a five day task and at the end of that you want to bill an invoice. So a job goes for five days. When that five day series ends and the last job goes into a completed status, we can trigger off a, um, a triggered message then. So let's just get into the basic flow of instant messaging. So really common flow, I want to kick off a new job. I come in here and I create my, uh, my customer. Um, now, obviously you can't send uh, an email or an SMS message um, if you don't have their details. So you need their um, mobile number or an email address to send them a message. It won't send otherwise. Um, so job notes. That's my notes, my tech, my job note goes out to my tech and when my tech completes their task, they do their notes. So let's just uh, send an instant message here. So I go over here to create edit. I wanna send an um, SMS to the customer. I might just tweak it a little bit, say um, uh, regards Paul and um, I'm gonna send a message to the technician, which is gonna go out. This is an email, just confirming that job for that tech. So I'm, that's the instant message which is gonna go out. So let's just save and close that. So if you look up the top, you'll see um, that job's been saved and on job save, that message goes out. So now if we go through and we have a look at this job, we can see a email has been sent to a technician and an SMS has been sent to the customer. So if we come in and we look at this email and SMS, we can come to the end, we can jump into SMS history and we can see the messages we've sent out to our customers, um, which is good if customers come and say you never sent me a message. Right, so that's instant messages and you can configure those in settings and we'll, at the end of this, we'll just see how we can update the settings for each of those. And then let's just say we wanted to send a reminder um, message out to the technician. So obviously I need the, um, Paul webinar is gonna be the tech. Um, I don't have his mobile number in here, so I'm not gonna be able to send him an SMS. So that's why it's not showing 0401026347. So I'm just gonna update Paul webinars, um, tech, tech Paul's message and I'm going to um, want to send a reminder. So say that, is in the afternoon, I wanna send a reminder to the technician. Um, just an hour before the job, I might wanna send him an email and an SMS an hour before the job, I've just set up that reminder. So now, an hour before that job, that message is automatically gonna go out, I don't have to worry about it. So I've just streamlined that message. Now there's another scenario, um, so that's the reminders, pretty straightforward. And then there's triggered messages, which by default aren't set up. But if I go into settings, I go into email and SMS and I come here, I can set up, these are my instant messages I can, I can change. And what we use is something called a placeholder here. So we can pretty much grab any information from a job and pop it into these messages. So say I wanted to put in here um, the suburb, I could just go and grab my placeholder over here from suburb um, and I can pop it in there. And now that message is gonna grab, grab Grab, grab suburb from the job and that will go into the customer's uh, instant email message. So this is the reminder messages. So I can edit the reminder emails or the reminder SMSs. I can send a reminder to the scheduler, the tech or to the customer. And then these are the quite interesting ones and a bit more advanced. So I can set up some triggered messages which go out and there's two um, main types of triggered messages I can set. One is when a job is saved with a certain status, which is good. So say a job is um, saved with a status of completed, I might wanna send a thank you message out to my customer. Um, another one might be if I've got a job which is um, at the end of a series. So I've got a recurring series. So um, jobs which 
Um, so let's let me just do this. So uh, ready to bill, um, ready to bill customer um, uh, stage complete. I could go. It's created by the scheduler. It's triggered by a job saved with a status of um, completed. So when a series um, is completed and the last job in the series is completed, then this message will go out and I could send it to the uh, business email address, my internal email address and say, hi, um, hi staff, whomever, you could address it to whomever. Um, I could actually go down here and I could address it to the person who is the recipient to that. So I could do recipient first name. So if you go hi, recipient first name. Um, so that with the business email address. Um, please uh, invoice this customer. They have, uh, we have completed this stage of work. And then I could put in the um, um, name of the customer and I could put in the address of the customer. Um, yeah, so that's good. So that's done. We could even put a link to job. So that will be a link to the job and then they can jump straight in there uh, uh, and invoice away. Regards me. So that's good. Also, I guess what's worth noting with these triggered messages, I can automatically generate an invoice uh, and a quote or a service report, which gets uh, created as a PDF and attached to this message. So I could just add in there and that P service report would be generated and sent off um, or an invoice or a quote would be generated and sent off. So that's my triggered message. So I've got two now. I've got one when the job is set to a status of um, completed. I'm going to send a thank you to my customer. You may not always want to do it on every job because not all jobs go to plan. So you could have a status set up here is completed and uh, send a uh, um, reference uh, message request say. So that's the tech knows if the job just goes smashing well, I want to I want to send that message. So I'm not always sending that message. So I'm going to allow the worker to set that status to that and I'm going to make it visible to the worker so they can um, they can send that. And that's effectively a completed color. So I'll just do that. So that's a really happy day scenario. Job went really well. I'm going to send the request or you can always send it and delete the messages if you don't like some of the messages you get from the staff. If I was going to do that and I wanted to use that new status, I would go to my um, triggered email, I would edit and I would change the status here to um, completed and send reference request and then that will only go out for super happy customers. So how would we trigger that message? So I come into my, my job and um, either as a technician in the field, so I could be a technician in the field, so if I'm just pretending I'm on the mobile app here, I jump in as the technician in the field. I've got my last job there. Um, it's happy days. I've entered my job notes in here. So um, it was based off the job went really well. It's based off the uh, status, but just to complete the workflow. And then I can just come in here, change the status, um, complete it, send reference request, job done, that's it. It's like, it's immediately sent that message. There's no more messing around. I don't have to think about it. I'm um, nurturing my customers, I'm getting my referrals built, I'm doing a bit of marketing. So that's, yeah, that's a really, uh, really nice workflow. So we had a pretty much had a look at the configuration as we went through there. I think that's uh, pretty covered. Um, if you've got any questions about messages or you want a hand setting them up, just like I said before, just, just jump down onto that little, uh, little, um, question thing which is hiding under this. So let me just move that. There's a little question down there. You can just pop that up and say, hi, can I have a hand with triggered uh, messages for my customers? And that, that goes off to um, our support team, our customer success team, and they'll answer you and help you get set up. So that's pretty much, um, that's pretty much almost a wrap, except we have a question from one of our wonderful customers here. Um, how many messages can I send or is there any limit? No, it's, it's unlimited and they're pretty light because they're just sending text. So you can pretty much go crazy. 
And um, in some situations, some accounts do um, have a 12.5 cent charge, um, just depending on um, their volume. So down here, we can see whether we've sent messages. So that's really good. Obviously, just by changing the status here, I can trigger a message so I can just quickly go through and say, I want to um, confirm jobs the day before. I can just go through, hover over, change the status to a new status saying um, job confirmed. And then the message can go out to the tech and I can check that I've um, sent that message out to the tech by just checking here to say SMS sent to customer or email sent to technician. So pretty much that's a wrap. Uh, thank you, everyone. And One more question. Sure. Yeah. Is there a delay when you send instant messages? No, instant are general, generally pretty instant. It should be within a few minutes. Um, email and SMS, same. They, they go pretty straight straight out. So, so if we, let's do a test. So that's a good question. So let's do a test. So say I am the customer here, and I've got the customer message, and I want to send uh, an instant uh, SMS to that customer. I'd come in here, I'd jump down here, I'm gonna go edit the customer message. I'm just gonna send that uh, instant SMS. Hi Carl, sending you uh, an instant message. Um, whoops, smiley face. So we send that. Now instant's a good question. So instant goes out when I save the job, not when I create the message. Because if I update some of this information, we wanna grab that latest information in the message, say I change the time or the address or whatever. So that's why we, when you hit save close is when the message goes out. So save close, that's gonna send a uh, SMS out to my phone. So there should be another SMS sent there. So here we go, there'll be uh, an S, uh, SMS sent to the customer. So there's two, because I've just done another SMS to the customer. If I go to my phone, I've got a little message on my phone. So I just open my message on my phone and it's got, hi Carl, sending you an instant message. So yeah, that was pretty instant. <laughs> the time it took me to reach my phone. Um, so I think that's a wrap. No more Any questions, questions from anyone? Beautiful. Oh, oh there's another question. What happens if there is a typo in an email or SMS or phone number? So that message won't get delivered. So it won't make it, it won't make it to the customer. Um, yeah, so just definitely check, check, check your messages. But what's nice is having this history in here. So I can actually see what I did. So if there's any conversation or dispute, I can go in here and I can see, look, I sent that message to that person or I sent an SMS to that person on that day. Um, so that lets me know um, what I did. Um, no errors come out if it if it doesn't work because you're not necessarily looking at, at, at that system because the reminder messages go out in a future date. But if you've captured the customer's mobile phone number correctly in your contacts, then yeah, it'll it should all go be out correct. fine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks, everyone. Okay, let's call that a wrap. Uh, any questions? Like I said, just let us know. Thanks. Bye.